whether we've started. Where are you? It says now streaming, waiting for the official. Okay, we are live. Welcome back to Monday Motivations on the Change Physician podcast and community. I am Melissa Katie with my co-host, Dr. Kevin Kakaro. And if you're seeing this on my Challenge Doctor page, this is actually coming from the Change Physician. So, hi, Kevin. Hello. I am just busy sharing it off onto my other little pages here. So you're doing your little. Big. Yeah, because I can't. You have to wait until it's posted before. Like it, we have to be live before I could do this, and so we have this little delay, the vay thing. You know, it's all. It's all Understood. Crazy. Understood. Well, while you're doing that, I will uh, get people up to speed here on Monday motivations. We try to capture what happened the last week, what's coming up the next week on our podcast, and also you know, what's been going on with us the last week and, you know, what we're inspired to achieve or do or be motivated to do the ne this coming week. So for the podcast, um, we've had, let's see, we had a host chat and a guest and our host chat. Oh, you definitely have to listen to that because we talk about some decisions that don't seem financial that actually do affect your financial um, picture in your life, but um, are the host best and worst financial decisions? I think we planned on doing three of each and it just, it, it wasn't exactly a number, but we definitely shared some insight into uh, some of the things we shouldn't have done or glad we had done. And that was in episode 75. And then we had uh, Dr. Michael Hockman, who is the podcaster for Healthy Skeptic MD, the host there. And he also was involved with slow medicine. And we had a good conversation about all kinds of things um, in medicine, even, you know, helping patients, um, you know, as far as making good decisions about their health, which uh, many times they can be misled um, in medicine. Imagine that. Well, it, what, and I, what I really liked about that, and, you, and I don't think you wanted to focus on as much, was um, the attention that, that he and his mentor with their first their first sort of project, which was, I think, updates in slow medicine, was just really return this idea that we do all this crap in medicine. And there's a new fancy, shiny device out there. And it's like, oh, let's go do this new fancy device because it's so cool, right? But it's, should we even be doing that new fancy device? Maybe we need to just pause and talk to our patient. Um, so it, yeah, I, I enjoyed that. And I'm, I'm glad that he was on the show. And I'm glad he's doing the healthy skeptic because we definitely I think there's a I, there's probably a tie between increasing rates of skepticism and your health. The more skeptical you are of magic bullets, uh, you're probably less likely to get shot. So yeah, yeah, yeah. and not necessarily conspiracy theory kind of skepticism, but more like you know, let's just look at the pros and cons and the evidence and the data, and you know, use our brains to make you know reasonable, rational, pragmatic decisions. Speaking exactly. of which, is a segue into making good decisions on relationships, your health, your wealth is our upcoming host chat for episode 77. So you kind of talk about, you know, some pragmatic, practical choices or simple choices um, to lead, you know, more fulfilling lives, right? Mm -hmm. right? Well, just keeping things simple rather than making things more complex. Right. Yeah, Where don't overcomplicate it. Oh, no. Keep it simple, there are stupid. there's some little simple things in there that you just keep it simple, stupid. Right? Things. Yeah, keep it simple. Oh, I never understood why people got mad with a stupid thing. But I don't it, know, but I keep use it simple. Whatever. I say keep it simple and safe. And safe. In, the, in the medical capsis. world, huh? Asses. That's keep an S. Kiss ass. No. K i s a s. Kiss ass. No, K I S S. Keep it simple and safe. And safe. And safe. That's it. <laughs> There's a, okay. <laughs> you're ignoring your letters. So you don't, you know, that, that doesn't work. K I S S. Out. Isn't that what you're supposed to? K I S A S is the, what you're saying. There's no, an not. and in there. Yeah. Keep oh, it simple. see, don't, don't do that. Keep it you, simple, safe. I'm just, I'm, I'm keep keeping it safe, the simple here. Keep it, keep, I'm just saying, if you're going to say and, you keep it use... simple safely. It's How an adverb. It... <laughs> How about keep it safely simple? Okay. Okay. All right. We, we I don't know. Some English it. major is going to say that's all wrong, but you know, <laughs> it's okay. I don't think there's anything. Keep it safely simple. Keep right, it simple safely. I don't, I don't know. I think that, I think you know what we're saying. Keep it simple. Keep stupid. it simple. 
Yeah. <laughs> or stupid. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the other episode, which is interesting, we brought Rip. Uh, we just can't get enough of Dr. Rip Patel. <laughs> Rip. And and out of Houston, emergency physician. And we talked about my personal and his personal experience during the Texas Snowzilla, which you could call the snow apocalypse or you could call it the snowvid. I've heard all these words, but um, it was, you just get to hear the details. If you're not in Texas and I mean, some of these things have been backwards uh, for a lot of decisions being made um, in contradiction to what's going on in the health world. But anyway, um, just but to we make- also, I think we decided never to have Rip back on the show because every time we schedule them, there's some there's something that happens. happens, right? Oh, Rip, come back and talk about this. Oh, and he comes on, I just recover, you know, I'm talking about COVID and we have to talk about that. And it's like, talk about this. Oh, wait a second. I didn't have water for five days. <laughs> I know. Well, well you've got to give him a break. He yeah. needs a break from all these catastrophes. Um, but anyway, those, those are upcoming episodes. And, uh, last week our motivations our aspirations our intentions were where you were just going to keep doing your thing taking time off and then i was going to read i took time off the week before and i didn't read okay but it was i gotta tell you though my workout was going really well or my train my training program i just love it i know i'm people are probably getting tired of hearing it Kevin loves his workouts i absolutely love it it is like so awesome (laughs) it feels so good well, I got to run today. I, oh, I, do yeah? need, I do need to give my body a little more uh, relaxation and stretching and a um, little bit different movements. Um, my, my back has definitely been, um, uh, I call it angry <laughs> at me for the last uh, week or so, but I've had a lot of mundane routine or a lot of sitting in the operating room a lot of just uh, lack of um, motion and variety. And then, I don't know, I guess my sleep hasn't been perfect. So it just, you know, a few well, contributors potentially. Well, I'm going to say every time I hear that, and the next question I would ask would be then, well, what else is going in your li- going on? That's in your right. Life? Huh? That's what right. What else is happening right there that your back could be trying to protect you from? And I have not, you know, it's pandemic time, even though I don't work 100% full time, I'm not, I'm not looking forward to my trips like I have. I haven't built in my downtime or fun time as much. So I guess that's my my agenda this next week is to create a little downtime and fun time and um, and then see how my back is after that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out if what what really maybe some contributors. Not that you always know the answer, but usually you know. when I take care of myself better, it's better. Yeah, but that's a, that's a that's an interesting point that I never think about when it came to the pandemic is we, you know, it's been a year now and a lot of people make travel plans or vacations and we think that the vacation is just the vacation but there's the entire period of anticipation up to the p- vacation itself is as important as the vacation. Yeah. And then there's the period after the vacation where we're looking back and have that retrospective analysis and we're sort of in the in the post vacation glow, which is also very important. So it's not like people just missed a vacation. They missed this huge big segment of anticipation, ex- experience and 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 reflection, sometimes multiple times. And what happens when you don't have that for a full year if you're used to it? Well, obviously we're seeing Melissa. So well, and like you said, anticipation and memories. So the lead up that could go for relationships or, well, there's other things too. (laughs) (laughs) That creates a lot of excitement. Um, And then the actual time. And then afterwards, there's the memory and the reflection. So, you know, it could be relationships, um, fun sexual activity or, you know, vacation. And or or vacation. And or, or all together. Or all together, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> so there you go that's right. that's my agenda i don't know what i said last week i think i was probably saying something about i thought you were gonna run i did i think so you did it I'm pretty yeah sure i did. did i did do a few runs so i'm happy about that but um um everything i've been doing is all filled with tension work lack of movement go go run increased tension in the muscles so they're prepared for the next run so everything has been all about tension and tightness and you know whether that's the right explanation or not um i can tell when i don't uh 
release the tension in other ways relax and take care and of myself. Recover. Not yeah, my relax recover. Uh, it was a good conversation I had with my husband earlier about my propensity to be able to work nonstop, um, which is not always a good thing. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say that's necessarily a good thing. There's no. there's pros and cons to everything, and there's definitely a con to working constantly. Some things come easier to mm. people. Work and tasking is very easy. Um, for me to, that's my default mode. The default mode? Yes. Working. Just like, you know, default mode network, you know, but <laughs> mine is busy. <laughs> well, this is default network is <laughs> work and task completion. Yes. Man, I, there's somebody out there salivating right now, you know, oh my gosh, you just give her a bunch of list of tasks. <laughs> oh, I should, I should show you all. I had 21 bags of leaves that I filled up and drug to the curb. 21? 21 bags. Wow. Because my huge oak tree that got slandered by the snowzilla Slander. dropped all its leaves. <laughs> so the snowzilla yes. said nasty things about your oak tree? Yes. And I was, <laughs> I have pictures. Oh boy. Maybe I should just share them with the yeah, audience. Share your pictures. Let's see it. We want to see the snowzilla. Uh, well, let, let me pull up. Death my, of an oak episode. Well, <clears throat> it's something a little bit, you know, there was some three branches I think that were um let's see here oh yeah let me let me give you one of those let's see here all right let me share my screen with you all oh boy this is just gonna be so much fun all right so that is me oh boy look at you up there what are you doing up there my folding saw Oh, geez. And cutting down several of these uh, yeah, parts of the tree. Let's see here. Um, let's pause my share here. Can you still see the picture? Is it gone? I still see the picture. OK. Uh, resume share. Oh, there's the stop share. Let me find this just to give you more perspective, more perspective of of uh, there we go those are all filled with leaves <laughs> wow that's a lot of leaves right there <laughs> yes and then let's see do i have another did i have a picture of oh i didn't i can't believe i didn't have that one that's terrible anyway i had uh my entire curb um it was probably about 35 feet four feet tall of just branches from multiple trees in the backyard and the front yard um, and the ones i realized that when they have snow on them they're laying on the house so i went ahead and got rid of those oh yeah so, that's a good idea so they just picked them up so i couldn't even take a picture of it now i was surprised today was the first day and they actually showed up today which i was super glad about but so anyway. everything has survived and returned to semi-normal as much There's as normal as we can talk tiny about. little green leaves and all my little twigs that look like they're dead that are just starting to come to life again um oh. so they're they're emerging as still you know gonna survive but um yeah Great. so that that's been oh oh let me share one more thing that i was doing um you might actually appreciate this <laughs> I, I might you i might. probably will come on have some faith here <laughs> okay let me turn this around so you can actually see all right, everyone's gonna see my pictures today. You see that? Oh, look at that! So Are you doing that inside your uh, your new room? My, the my little sunroom. Very yes. cool. What are you growing there? So the two biggest leaves there. Those are um, those are a type of bean. Um, I'm blanking on the name of that, but most of the um, two leaf ones. There's the the green pipe cleaners. And the blue pipe cleaners, if you see those, those are all San Marzano tomato plants. Oh, yum. Okay. Yes. And the purple uh, pipe cleaners are the eggplant. I have two of the four that are growing. And then I have two, two serranos. I got two habaneros, two, um, I have two early jalapenos and two scorpions. Oh. Um, are you, do you like spicy food? 
No, Corey, my husband does. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah. And then I've got some summer savory, one of them that's popped up. And then there's a, another herb that uh, I've got some Thai basil. I got two Thai basils. Mm, I'm curious about that. So there you go. I grow, I'm growing them from seed in right. my summer room. That is very, and actually the one thing that you, before you, you, you were, you took away the picture I was going to ask oh. you about, you can bring oh, back. It's very I'll important. Bring it back. What is it? Dicotyledon, um, cotyledon, what? So what is that uh, furry thing off to the right? I was thinking I should probably crop that. <laughs> so it's a welcome statue of, with a moose. My husband liked it. A moose welcomer? It was cute. Oh, it's, you know, okay. like a moose, like you just stand it up at your front door, but it always gets pummeled by the rain because uh, of the way our front door is. So it's mm -hmm. it like literally gets saturated. So oh, I have it in there since we have it. And, you know, it's a welcome from the back side of the house instead. All right. A welcome moose. All right. I just had to make sure because it had almost a little monkey. -ish. And I was like, is that a stuffed monkey? And the no, well, there's a little baby. It's a baby moose holding on to the sign with the adult moose. The, oh. the welcome sign, the little baby moose is holding on to the bottom of it, like holding on for dear life. And the, the, the big moose is just standing there standing with there. the sign. All right. Uh, All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for filling that important detail. Sure. And, right. and all of, uh, all of my lovely boots to run around in you saw yes 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 but i figured i didn't comment on that because i figure you live in texas so if you don't have a pair of boots probably you get shot or something so yeah. <laughs> no those aren't like cowboy boots we don't really wear cowboy boots we have these you know they're like the galoshes kind of thing you know when it's raining and nasty outside Actually, they're just easy to slip on and off so that I could just go take care of some yard work or whatever. <laughs> right on, right on. That works. That works. Yeah. So what are you going to do this next week? I, I just, I just want to keep doing what I'm doing, actually. Um, yeah, I was going to say, I have, a, I have a live webinar tonight that I'm sort of excited for, and it'll be kind of interesting to see what happens after that because uh, this is one of my favorite topics. It's on stress. So I will be doing that and then just kind of seeing what the follow-up is. And I'm always interested in hearing what the participants say. So that's really my, I guess my motivation will be right, well, right now is to prep and do the webinar because it's going to take place in about three, yeah, two, two hours and then, uh, and then follow up on that. So yeah, that's really my major motivation. That's really the biggest thing that I want to work on outside of just normal day-to-day -day stuff. And and continue to do the, the training, the strength training that I'm doing, which is awesome, folks. It's so cool. I just love Sweet. it. Yeah. How well, about you? I, um, well, I think actually I'm trying to make sure that we're still going on video. Does it show that we're still going? Yep. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, no, I think uh, just, you know, nurturing my little plants and uh, being, take more downtime in my sunroom and uh, the little, uh, actually I've got a little, um, pineapple plant in there. Not, I didn't show you those a little pineapple plant and a white raspberry plant that I'm nurturing there in the sunroom as well. So, um, yeah, tend to people, plants and pets, the PPP PPPs, the PPPs. <laughs> instead of tending to things. I think that is a, a, a very worthy motivation. That's my struggle. <laughs> well, and you're motivated to do it. So we will check. I, I am, you. but it still takes work. It, well, it all takes work, right? It's it does. Work. Yeah. But. but that's why we have these Monday motivations. So you can keep, <laughs> keep us working. Keep keep us working. Me, hold me accountable. So, <laughs> awesome. Well, take us right. out then. Take us out. All right. Well, hey, folks, welcome to, uh, back to The Change Physician. Thank you so much for joining us for Monday Motivation. Or if you are hearing this later, I hope you are motivated, whether it is Monday or another day of the week to accomplish something meaningful to you, whether that's personal or professional. If you like more of this, you can visit us at thechangephysician.com and you can sign up for our email us there. It is really about physicians and physician allies in the community and how we're supporting each other as well as some future plans. Um, otherwise, we will see you either in a future episode of the Change Physician podcast and or on our Monday Motivations where my fabulous co-host, Dr. Melissa Katie, will tell us the update on how her plants are growing. <laughs> That's scorpion pepper. And until next time, guys, stay well. Thanks. Bye.